What's up guys? Today is the 4th of July, so for those of you that are Americans, that are our viewers, Happy Independence Day. Um, don't really have any plans for today. I'm mostly just staying in here, working on stuff. Um, it's been an interesting week. I wanted to update you on a couple of funny things that have happened over the last little while. First of all, um, as you know, Kaysen got married and he moved out, and uh, Landon and Kaysen's brother Parker moved in with us, so he's here now. And um, anyways, he found this really obscure YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> it's really bizarre, and it's really funny, but it's this guy who does vocal covers of all these like really heavy bands. Well, not all. Um, for the most part, like, you know, like metal bands and um, it just rock bands in general. And he does vocal covers, so he's listening with these headphones. I'll put some links in the description. He puts some headphones in, and he, he sings or screams these songs. Screams them. And I can't even describe to you how funny it is. Like, how bad it is. It's really bad. But, um, anyways, Parker ended up taking, um, because he did a Disturbed cover for uh, Down With The Sickness. And uh, Parker ended up taking his vocal track from the video and putting it with uh, the just the instrumental track of the song. And it's one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. Anyways, um, I'm going to put some links in the description to all that so you guys can check that out. It's really funny stuff. But, um, yeah, so I know it, it probably seems at this point like um, we're never ever going to release another video again. I assure you that's not true. There's so much cool stuff coming, it's just, it's coming. It, it, for dumb reasons it can't be uploaded, but I promise you, like, there's so much stuff that we have basically done we can upload when the time, you know, when we're allowed to do that, and uh, it's going to be good stuff. But Skyrim's really coming along. We have all three videos edited and edited now, and we're working on special effects and sound design and, and hopefully soon the music. And um, we also got contacted by Ubisoft, and we're going to be doing a another Splinter Cell video. That's going to probably be, well, maybe not. It's, it's at the end of July. It has to be up on like July 23rd or 24th or something like that. So that's probably the next video from us that you guys will see. Um, but yeah, they're going to have us, they're going to give us the full costume and everything like that and it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Um, anyways, so I've been reading uh, Game of Thrones, well, a Game of Thrones, the first in the series of books. And uh, I don't know why I was so late jumping onto this bandwagon of Game of Thrones stuff. By the way, this is the price I pay for wearing glasses. You see this? You see this? I get like freaking these huge like red scars on the bridge of my nose. I don't know why. I've worn these glasses for a long time. But it's just within the last year or so they've gotten really, I don't know, they're jacked up. So anyways. Um, so I'm reading the book, and I'm like 60% of the way through, and for any of you that have read that book, it's really long. It's like as long as all three Lord of the Rings books combined into one. And it's just like the first of, I don't know, I think he's got like five books out, or at least planning for five or something like that. Anyways, it's crazy. So I was watching the show, kind of like, as I was reading through the book, and you know, I didn't want to get further in the show than I was in the book. I wanted to finish the book first, and... and, and kind of see the show afterwards, but I was watching last night, I got up through like episode six, I think it was, I was like, fetch this, I gotta finish this, it's, it's really good, I, I can't believe it's taken me this long to like, actually watch that show, it's amazing, um, so yeah, I'm prepped to start watching ep uh, season two now, and um, I'm still gonna read the book though, because the book is, is awesome, and a lot of you would probably ask, well, you know, what do you like better? Do you like the show or the book? And I don't want to, like, just give the, the the easy answer. Like, oh, of course, I like the book better. The book's so much better, blah, blah, blah. Um, there are reasons why, and it's not like, I think, the common reason. You know, a lot of people get upset. They're like, oh, my favorite book was, you know, uh, was made into a movie, and they cut all the parts out, and they changed these characters, and they did this and that. As a filmmaker, I understand the reasons why they do those things. So, it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers, you know, most people. But the reason I like the book better than, than the show is, 
because they did a, they did do a really really good job of of not cutting much. I mean, most of most of it is the same. I mean, even when it comes down to the dialogue, because I believe the author, uh, what is his name, something R. Martin, R. R. Martin or J. R. Martin, not J. R. Uh, anyways, the author of the book, I think, wrote the show. I think he wrote the screenplays and stuff. So a lot of his dialogue is like exactly the same as from the book. It's it, it, everything. It, it's it's a really really good show. It's really well made. Um, but there are certain, I guess, just certain ways that lines are delivered or you know in in the book you get a sense for what this person's thinking when they're saying something and i think that a lot of that wasn't carried over super well so you have i, I guess just you had characters reacting or saying the lines in a certain way that i felt were like oh that's that's not at all you know the way i saw it because he's he was thinking this when he said it or he was feeling this when he said it and you get those sorts of things across in the book the the author is amazing. He writes great dialogue and he really establishes the characters so that you know what their motives are, what they're thinking, what they're feeling almost all the time. And everything makes a lot of sense. And I think that some of that was lost in translation going over to uh, the show. And um, it feels a little fast paced in places. But um, that was, I only really felt that way for like the first two or three episodes. And then for the rest of the season, it was just like, wow, this it was getting better and better and better with every episode, and so I'm hooked. I'm hooked. It's good stuff. If you haven't if you haven't seen that show, it's it's great. You need to watch it. But be forewarned. I mean, it's for mature audiences. There's a lot of language and nudity and that sort of stuff, but it's worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. That show is so good, and the book is really good too. And if you're into reading, I would definitely suggest reading it. It's I'm really into fantasy. I've been writing a fantasy novel for off and on for, geez, like 12 years. And um, so there was a time a couple years ago when I decided I wanted to, to be more familiar with, you know, the works of fiction for fantasy, you know, that's out there. And I obviously have read everything by Tolkien, but um, I read some uh, the Shannara, uh, Sword of Shannara. It was garbage. Hated it. Read some Wheel of Time, really didn't enjoy that either. Uh, there were a couple of others I tried to read. I was like, wow, like, is, is, I, I think just, I must have just been a Tolkien, just spoiled by Tolkien. It's just like, there was nothing that, at least that I read that even came close to it that, that I really enjoyed at all. And Game of Thrones is on that level. In fact, in a lot of ways, it's superior because Tolkien is, uh, he's a type of writer that, loves to because he's created like the most realistic fantasy world ever actually I, I might contend that game of thrones is is even more so but like game of thrones is less what do you, like it, it feels more medieval grounded in reality than tolkien stuff which feels a lot more fantastical but for that style of fantasy that's the the you feel like it's history almost and so he's developed these cultures and languages and all these different things and he feels the need to explain them right um, which is cool for books like the Silmarillion who people are way into that but in the Lord of the Rings it's like he's explaining you know the way this culture works or you know what I mean if you read the book and for a lot of people it's really fatiguing in Game of Thrones it's not the case he is all about characters and 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 the dialogue and like driving you know the story forward with the people that are involved he's, he's less concerned but there still is great background the world that, okay i'm just gonna stop talking about it because it's gonna take me forever to explain it and also i'll start rambling but it's freaking awesome and you guys should read the book and you should watch the show because it's really good um what else is going on uh i beat this game like three times now i'm on survival mode this is a great game if you have a ps3 you should buy this game um, I've also been playing uh, Zombie U a little bit. Kind of was off and on when I first got it, and then uh, I didn't, it wasn't until just recently I started playing it again. I'm almost done with it now. I really like this game. I don't care what any of the reviewers say. It's a great game. Um, it's just a really unique experience. There's nothing like that that I've really played before. So if you have a Wii U, get Zombie U. If you have a PS3, get The Last of Us. If you can read, then read Game of Thrones. If uh, you have HBO, 
watch Game of Thrones and uh, look forward to Skyrim. It's coming around. It's starting to look good. Also a new Splinter Cell video in the next couple weeks. It's going to be filmed on the 14th and 15th. It's going to come out on like the 24th. So just a couple weeks away. Thanks for watching. Peace.